Hey, what is going on with you guys? Sean Stewart in the building. I want to come on here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are blessed, achieving a bunch of success. I hope you guys are doing really well for yourselves. Guys, I want to come on here and I want to talk to you guys. Hope you guys got your energy today. Hope you guys are feeling good today because I got a great video for you guys. I'm going to drop the freaking bang on you guys. Guys, this is for you business people out there. This is for you sales guys. I want you guys to understand one thing about life. Everything is sales. Everything in life is sales. And if you guys don't know this uh, phenomenal skill of selling, guys, you're going to struggle in life, right? And I'm here to come on here and I'm here to talk to you guys how to get better at the skill that is used universally across the entire world, across different continents and uh, different countries and how you can get better at sales, right? Uh, and I wanna give you guys five killer tips, right? But let, I'm really talking to you, to you professionals out there. I wanna give you guys five killer tips, uh, really not professionals, because if you're a professional, you're already utilizing these tips, uh, really for the rookies out there. Um, and I don't mean that in a, in, a, in a demoralizing way or I'm trying to you know insult anybody, but I, I wanna give you guys these tips for the newbies out there, the amateurs, the people who aren't, skilled up yet you know what i'm saying you either skill up or you're gonna get burnt like the skillet it's just how life works and i'm here to come to you guys and increase your sales game uh for, for the rookies out there i'm gonna jump right into it uh before i jump right into it i actually want to say that if you guys take value from this video if this helps you in any type of way maybe if you don't even like the video Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Share it with your grandmother. Uh, but I promise you guys you're going to enjoy the video. Uh, and, and I want you to refer some people to me. God bless you guys. Let's jump right into it. Five killer tips for new sales reps. I put new up there. And they're killer. They're killer tips. Guys, number one tip. The number one tip that I would give you guys. And this is, this is a tip that was given to me. Uh, but I just had to do this inevitably because of the industry that I was in at the time. And it's get frequent with the activity, right? I put up here, focus on the MMA. I'll get into that in just a second because it translates into the second tip. But I want to focus right here on the number one, get frequent with your activity. Guys, what does this mean? When you become a brand spanking new salesperson, guys, you, you know, you're excited. Like I'm in the financial industry. In order for me to get to the financial industry, I have to pass uh, uh, exams, right? So after I pass these exams, I've been studying, yada, yada, yada. Guys, I'm freaking like, yes, let's go, right? I'm hype, I'm excited, this, that, and the other. But then, bam, you get put into a position that you're not really necessarily have any experience in. So what do you guys do? I'm here to tell you guys, you don't just sit around looking at your watch. Don't sit around playing with your phone. What you want to do is get frequent with the specific activity that makes you money. I'm going to say that again. Get frequent with the specific activity or activities that make you money, right? That's why I wrote right here, MMA. What does MMA stand for? If you're taking notes, I want you to write this down. Money-making activities. I'm going to write it down too. Money-making activities. Get frequent with your money-making activities, you guys. If I can give you one tip and one tip only, it's get an, on how to make money at least, it's get frequent with the money making activity. You guys are gonna fall on your face, you guys are gonna make mistakes, but I promise you, if you just keep staying frequent, do the activity often, right? Whether that's picking up the phone and making a call, whether that's knocking on a door, whatever it is, whatever is relative to your industry and your profession, get frequent with the activity that will get you money. And it's a money making activity. And that leads me to my second part, Get great at filling your pipeline. MMA, there's that acronym again, money making activities. What is your pipeline, you guys? In sales, um, your pipeline correlates to the amount of people who are prospects. And prospect is a term that salespeople use to uh, classify an individual for a potential buyer, right? So I hope that helps you guys give you a little tip right there. What you want to do and, your, and the amount of prospects you have correlates to your pipeline. So if you have one prospect, you have a bad pipeline. If you have 100 prospects, you have a way better pipeline, right? And uh, whatever, the number is obviously relative to the industry that you're in. But typically, the bigger the number, the better, right? And that's your pipeline. Your pipeline is the amount of people you have that are 
maybe not ready, but are qualified for your product, right? In my instance, I'm in the financial industry. I have an abundant pipeline. My situation is I just gotta, I just gotta do the money making activity to get these individuals known into my pipeline, right? So what does that consist of? Door knocking, cold calling, going into businesses, uh, current clients, right? So what is a current client? Those are people that you've probably already done business with in the past. Uh, yeah, cold calling businesses, literally walking in the door in businesses and saying, hey, I wanna help you guys out with life insurance. Hey, I wanna help you guys out with health insurance, right? Uh, door knocking, hey, I wanna help you guys out with life insurance. This is obviously my industry, right? So I'm gonna use examples for my industry. Knocking on doors, hey, I'm a local life insurance agent, I wanna help you guys out, right? Cold calling, literally picking up the phone and calling freaking people up and saying, hey, you qualify, I wanna see if I can help you out, right? Power base, people that I already know. People, more importantly, people that know me, right? These are natural market people, right? And then referrals, getting referrals from people, cold calling them. Get great at filling your pipeline. I promise you guys, this will alleviate so many things, right? Rejection, that's number one thing that is gonna alleviate. A lot of salespeople are scared of getting rejected, especially if you're new, but I promise you, if you just get frequent at the activity and fill your pipeline, rejection naturally goes away, why? Because rejection isn't a emotional response to someone saying no to your offer. It's actually an indicator that there's a leak in your business. And what is that leak? The leak is that you don't have enough people to talk to. Let's face it, guys. If you get rejected by one girl, but you're in a club of 100 girls, and you know you're going to go talk to the next one, that one girl, she may be pretty, but it's not that big of a deal because there's more girls to talk to. Would you guys agree? Exactly. If you guys are enjoying this so far, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, hopefully I've gotten your attention yet, right? So get great at filling your pipeline. Do the money-making activity, guys. Get frequent with the activity. If you notice, I told you at the beginning of the video, these two kind of correlate with each other. The third tip I want to go into, guys, it's train daily, develop daily. If you're a brand spanking new salesperson, this is key. This is key to your success. I said that uh, get frequent with your activity is a very important with making money, training and developing yourself is actually the, the, the forefront of doing the frequency. Cause if you're training and you're developing, you're actually going to be motivated to wanting to get frequent, right? Because then you won't just be frequent. You'll be good because you're training and you're developing yourself. This is so key to, to you just getting better as a human, right? I don't just read because I'm a salesperson. I don't just train because I'm a salesperson. I train and I read and I develop myself and I listen to audio books and I listen to audio programs because I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to increase my success, uh, uh, my status, uh, my achievements, my knowledge, my wisdom, right? Why do we read? We read to obtain some new information, right? Why, why? Because we need new material to get better in life, to progress, right? Uh, that's why they take you through classes in school. You go through seventh grade, then eighth grade, then ninth grade, then 10th grade. Each grade, you require more information for the next level. It's the same thing with life, but some reason we stop after 12th grade. No, you need to keep training and you need to keep developing, but with the right things, right? So if you're in sales, you need to be following the sales masters, the sales black belts, the people that are trying to get better, the people that are getting you better. Who are these people? Uh, Grant Cardone, uh, uh, Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, these individuals right here are actually going to grow you as a salesperson. Uh, what's another one? Tom Hopkins, right? Patrick Bet David, these guys will turn you into a pro. A gentleman named Andy Elliott, uh, if you're in the life insurance business, Cody Askins, Matt Zapala, another insurance man. Uh, these individuals will get you going crazy for success, right? Uh, but just develop yourself, guys. Learn new material. This will motivate you. This will just help you get better at your profession. But if, but if you're a new salesperson, you definitely want to uh, tailor it towards the sales, right? The sales content. Get better. Because when you get better and you get frequent, you make more money. Next one, get on a daily routine and a schedule. This is another extremely vital tip for your success, guys. You need to get disciplined. You need to have a schedule and you need to stick to it. Uh, the most consistent people I know are the people that are consistent with their daily habits and their daily rituals. I knew a guy named Blake Cotton. This was actually one of my first sales trainers. This was back when I was doing a door-to-door. -door. This gentleman named Blake Cotton, he was a, he was a very uh, talented individual to say the least. But 
He was so consistent at sales. He was so consistent at his production. But why? We had a group chat that we would always be in. And every single morning at 5.30 a.m., he'd be posting, good morning, I'm up. And then a, and then a gym picture or whatever. Right? Uh, every morning at 7.30, at 7.30 a.m., he would be in the office posting a picture of his, like, the daily update. Right? He was a sales trainer, so, or a sales manager, and also a leader in the office. So he was posting this information. And I noticed that every single day he was so consistent with his sales. He was making, it was, a, the, 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 the standard was five sales a day. He was actually making eight sales every single day. And it wasn't necessarily because he was super good. It wasn't necessarily because he was extremely frequent, although he was. But it was because he was on a daily routine and he was on a daily schedule. Every single day, even the weekends included, he was waking up at 5.30 a.m. every single day with a gym picture following that good morning post 10 minutes later every single day and you notice that if you're consistent in a daily schedule and a daily routine your production is consistent as well right if you're consistent with the with the food you eat you notice that you're consistent with your discipline you're consistent with your workout routine you're consistent with your body right your body's not going up and down it's not it's not super successful or, or super lean and, and ripped one day and then fat the other day because you ate cheetos and and hot dogs right no you're eating the grilled chicken and the broccoli every single day so what happens your body progressively, consistently gets better every single day. There's no up and down. There's no whoo, bam, whoo, bam. It's just consistent. It's consistently getting better. Same thing with your schedule. Same thing with your routine. Same thing with your production. So if you're a new salesperson, I, 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 I ask you guys, please, I beg you guys to ensure your success, get successful at your daily routine. And I don't know what that is for you. I'll give you, I'll give you a little rundown of mine real quick. Uh, you know, on any given day, and I'm and I will guarantee you guys, I will tell you guys right now, confession, whatever. I am not 100% consistent with my daily routine, but I'm doing it five days out of the week, four days out of the week. I am winning most days. Now, it's something that I need to work on, something that everybody needs to work on. But I notice that when I'm consistent with my daily routine, when I'm going weeks being consistent, when I'm even going months being consistent, not missing days, my production is going crazy. I made 34 grand in the month of August because I was waking up at 4.30 every single morning, right? So my daily routine now, 4.30 a.m. every morning, I'm up, I'm writing my goals down, uh, you know, th then I'm going to the bathroom, I'm doing my 100 push-ups, I'm making my bed, uh, and it's all, in, it's, it's all in the same order, so I'm, I'm up, I'm making my bed, I'm uh, doing my push-ups, writing my goals down, using the restroom, going downstairs, looking at my goals for long-term, and then looking at my weekly targets, reading my core values, drinking my coffee, reading my Bible, uh, reading uh, some type of book, training, developing. Then I'm going on a run. I'm an I'm a ultra runner, marathon runner, you guys know this. And then I'm coming back, showering up, boom, then I'm on the off, then I'm to an appointment or to the office, whatever it could be, right? That's, that's, what my, that's what my morning routine consists of and my daily routine consists of. A nightly routine is kind of similar, right? I'm taking a shower, cleaning up, I'm writing my goals down, uh, and, and, then, and then I'm going to sleep, right? That's just kind of how it works. I notice that every single, and I'm consistent with that every single day. Every day I'm consistent with that, my production's always consistent as well. Next, number five, get clear. This is very, very, very important, you guys. If you're a brand spanking new salesperson, you got to get clear on your goals and you got to commit. I wrote this in huge letters right here because it's that important. Commit. You got to get clear on your goals. Uh, I can't tell you what your goals are. You can answer that question for yourself. But I will tell you for me, my goal is, hey, I am the number one rep at, uh, at my company of all time. And that's a one to three year goal. Right. That just shows you the margin between my goal and or excuse me, the margin between where I am right now and that huge, massive freaking goal that I got, right? If I can become the number one rep for the year in the company and only short, in a short eight months, then I can do the entire of all time in just a short three years, right? No one's ever made a million dollars in one year in this company. Everybody comes close, right? 500 grand, 750, not a million. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna break a record. I'm gonna become the number one rep at my company, I'm not gonna say my company's name, I don't know if I can, um, within one to three years. And I th that is a guarantee. Why? Because I'm committed to it and I'm clear on it. I see it every single morning, I write it down, every night I write it down and I visualize myself doing that, right? I get clear on my goals and I commit, 
right? By the way, by the way, by the way, what happens is actually when you get clear on your goals and you decide to commit, you actually start breaking down the numbers, right? So a hundred grand, what is that? Like nine grand a month, nine grand a month, a hundred grand. I actually did that in eight months. Let's just say I did it in 10 months. That's 10 grand a month, uh, which is divide that by four, which is like $2,600 a week. Um, actually, excuse me, $2,500 a week. Sorry. Okay, cool. Average sale in the insurance business is about $800 sale. Cool. Um, that means I got to get about three and a half sales a week. Great. That means I probably got it at my close ratio. That means I probably got to talk to about 15 people a week about let and then bam. And then my goals could be why? Because I'm committed to it and I break down the math. Boom. That's how goals work, guys. But you're never going to figure that math out. You're never going to figure out the mechanics on accomplishing that goal if you don't get clear on it. Why would you? Right? That's like learning a language that you know you're never going to speak. It just doesn't make sense. You're not going to do it. You got to get clear on your goals and you got to commit. I am committed. Every single day, I wake up every single day, write that goal down, write my intentions down, targets on how to do it. I'm, I'm on my daily routine. I'm training daily. I'm, getting, I'm filling up my pipeline and I'm getting frequent. I want to be successful. I want to make that goal happen. I should have put this at the first one, honestly. So just to recap, you got to get frequent. You got to fill your pipeline up. You got to train and develop yourself daily, daily. And this isn't a, like a, like a, like, Hey, I'm going to do this every other day. I'm going to do it three times. No, this is daily. You want to do this daily. Uh, get on a daily routine and a schedule. This could be part of your, your daily routine. You don't have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Like me, you don't have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Like David Goggins, you don't have to wake up at five 30 in the morning. Like Blake Totten. You can wake up at 7.30 in the morning. But if you know you're, if you're doing it consistently and you're training, you're developing, you're going to get better naturally. Get your daily routine, your schedule, and get clear on your goals, right? Write your goals down every morning. Grant Cardone talks about this in his 10X rule and his 10X mentor and all his other books. Write your goals down daily. Why? This gives you a clear direction on where you're going and how you got to get there. It sets bumpers and, and guardrails up for you to not do stupid things. Why? Because you're about to do, you're about to say, you're about to do something stupid. Oh! Uh, my goal told me I got to go this way. I'm clear on my destination. If you're clear on a destination, why would you get off on an exit that doesn't contribute to you moving forward to your destination? doesn't make sense because you're clear on your goal, clear on your destination. Guys, I hope this helped. I hope you can take these tips. I hope you can take these, uh, uh, this advice and run with it. Guys, if you're a new salesperson, I am so grateful for you. Salespeople run the economy. Salespeople make the, the U.S. economy go around, right? Uh, treat your profession as just that, a profession. It isn't some sleazy thing. It isn't something that you know people look down upon. It isn't something that doctors who never made it to be doctors go to. No, it's the thing that people say, hey, I got guts, I'm gonna go out there and earn my, my money, right? I'm not gonna be paid a salary. I'm gonna go out there and earn my money. And I guarantee you guys, sales is the only thing in life, sales is the only profession in life that you actually get paid for what you're worth. So it puts a spotlight on how valuable you are. More value. Elon Musk says this, the amount of money you make in life is in direct correlation to the, to the difficulty of the problems that you solve. So if, you, so if you're solving problems, what a salesperson is, they're a professional problem solver. The more you're solving problems, the more money you're gonna make. The more difficult problems you're solving, the, more, the higher the income you're gonna make. And you can only do that in sales. So guys, I, I, I encourage you guys, go out there, go, go kill your industry with success. Go kill it with abundance, right? Uh, and I guarantee you, you guys are gonna start loving this thing a little bit more, your income's gonna go up and, and, and you're gonna achieve a lot more success for not only you, but your family, right? Me, I'm not married yet, I don't even have children, uh, but I think about my future wife every single day, I think about my future children every single day, and that's what motivates me, to commit to my goals, to do all these things, and be successful in an industry that pays you for what you're worth. So what do I do? I increase my value. Improve every day, you guys. God bless you guys. Take this video, learn from it. I will catch you guys on the flip. Bye-bye.